Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you've been following for the past like month or two, then you'll know that I recently started a garden, like at a community garden. And so I've just been doing a bunch of things in regards to the garden. And um, one of the things that I did recently was start bean sprouts. This was the first time I had ever started anything from seed and as a new gardener I was really nervous about doing it but honestly it was so easy. So I wanted to make this video to show you guys how to start bean sprouts from seed. So if you are new to this channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one talking about gardening but I also talk about other things too in regards to being more sustainable. So be sure to subscribe so that you are notified of every video I post. The first thing that you want to do is to soak your beans for six to eight hours. Now these beans are Kentucky Wonder and I think most beans are going to have a tough exterior. So the reason that you're soaking them is to help soften them and make them really moist so that they know it's time to start sprouting. You don't want to soak every type of seed like if you have you know like leafy green seeds those are those types of seeds are smaller and don't have the tough exterior so you don't need to soak them but for any seed that has this tough exterior or you know it's a little bit bigger you can soak them for a few hours and be sure to keep an eye on them because you don't want to soak them for more than eight hours because They'll just get all mushy and stuff and you may not have much success with it. After they're done soaking, you actually could go ahead and plant them directly into the ground, but we don't know how many of them are going to germinate. And actually, I forgot to mention earlier that these seeds are kind of old. So since they're older, I think the germination rate will probably be less than seeds that were from this year. So since these seeds are a little bit older, I don't want to plant them in the ground and half of them don't sprout. That's kind of, you know, a waste of time and space at this point. So we're going to do it the old fashioned way, which I don't really think is old fashioned because old fashioned would be just putting it in the ground. So since these seeds are a little bit older, it's very likely that there are a few duds in here. Now, if you have newer seeds, then definitely go ahead and plant them outside if you want to skip the next step. But since you're watching this video, you probably want to see how to sprout them at home. So now we want to put the seeds into a container of some type that is going to retain moisture. I'm using a plastic Tupperware container, but I've also seen people use a Ziploc bag. So now I'm going to drain the water from the seeds that we're soaking and then wet a paper towel so that it's damp, but not soaking. And so then we'll put the paper towel inside of the container and then put the seeds in the paper towel. And you wanna make sure that all the seeds are on a single layer. Then wrap the paper towel around the seeds so that they stay warm and moist. Close the container or the plastic bag and put it in a warm place. I put it on top of my fridge, which actually isn't really that warm, but you know, maybe your fridge is. Check on the seeds the next day to make sure that the paper towel is still moist. And then by day two or three, you're gonna start seeing sprouts. This is what mine look like on day three. And as you can see, not all of them sprouted, which I expected. If your seeds are newer and of good quality, then you're going to have a much better germination rate. You might even be closer to 100%. Right now, this is like not even 50%, but not a big deal. I wasn't expecting it to do great, so my feelings aren't hurt. Now, once the seeds are sprouted, you can go ahead and plant them in the ground. You don't want to let them grow too much inside of the uh, container because it might just start like tangling with each other. Um, it might get tangled inside the paper towel. So you definitely want to plant them within three to four days after you've started sprouting them. When planting in the ground, just make a small hole a couple of inches deep 
and then you want to put the seed in with the sprout facing downwards so that you know it can start growing the roots and start growing upwards towards the surface of the soil and beans don't really need too much space between them so you can plant them about three inches apart from each other this is the second set of beans that i sprouted with the first set that i sprouted i put them into a little paper cup after they started sprouting rather than putting them directly into the ground later i found out that it's better just to plant the sprouts directly into the ground because beans are one of the few plants that do not like to be transplanted so when their roots get disturbed they can go into extreme shock and die so that's why you want to plant them directly into the ground however when i did plant my bean sprouts from the cup i was it was suggested to me that i plant the cup into the ground but i wasn't sure if the cup that i planted it in had plastic in it because it was a coffee cup you know normally the coffee cups have extra insulation so that the coffee doesn't burn you so i wasn't sure if it had plastic in it so i ended up taking it out of the cup and just planting it into the ground and it's fine the roots weren't too developed they had probably been growing for maybe about ooh, maybe about two weeks honestly so maybe the consensus with that is if you plant the beans when they're still young then it's okay but maybe if the plants had been growing for three or four weeks inside the cup it probably wouldn't have done as well being transplanted so you know everything is trial and error as i'm learning in gardening so you know just try out different things and see what works for you because something that works for you may not work for me so it's always worth to just try it out well guys that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed learning how to sprout bean seeds at home it's really super easy don't be afraid to try don't be afraid to make mistakes everything is a learning process so just have fun with it and see what you can grow thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and check out my other gardening videos if you want to see me growing in my community garden see you next time ciao